Hello and welcome to my channel where I review things I buy. In today's video, I'll be reviewing the Nui Smart LED bulbs. I'm just going to do a very quick unboxing here for you guys. There is something really cool that I want to share with you guys, and that is the details are on this card. When you purchase this from Amazon, I'll have the links in the description below for you guys, you actually receive an extra Nui Smart plug or Nui light bulb if you put a review on Amazon for them and you email support at Nui.com. So don't forget to do that with your purchase. So I'm just going to very quickly unbox this for you guys just to show you kind of what the presentation is for people that care about that. They come in these wrapped whatever you want to call it and you just pull it out and here's what the light looks like. That's pretty much it. We're just going to skip right to the good stuff. Let's get into how to actually set these light bulbs up. The first thing that I want to mention is very important that you actually connect to your 2.4 gigahertz internet. If you don't do that, you're not going to be able to connect your smart bulb. It does not connect to 5G. Once you're connected to your 2.4 gigahertz, you can go ahead and download the Nui app in the in Google Play. I'm assuming if you're an iPhone user, this app exists there as well. So once you open the app, you're greeted with a page to sign up and create an account. So we're just gonna very quickly create an account here. Once you log in, you're greeted with this home page. You can click on the add button to add a device. It's kind of weird because it brings up everything but the uh, smart lights. So this kind of threw me off a bit. So I went back and then when you go back, you'll find that at the top there, there will be an option to click on the light. And then once you click on light, then you can now add the Nui smart bulb. Now there's some instructions here. This is very important. In order to get this light to connect, these lights to connect to your Wi-Fi, you need to turn the, you need to have the lights turned on. Then you turn the lights off and back on again three times in about a one second interval. Once you do that, the lights will start flashing blue and you can click on reset successful. Then you'll receive a message that says pairing successful. And then you just go back and then you can, and into the home tab, uh, these little toggles there to turn the lights off and on. But I wanna also show you how to sync it to the Google Home Mini, and then we're gonna get into some of the features of this smart bulb. I wanna to talk to you guys very quickly about some of the issues that I had setting up these bulbs with my Google Home Mini. There is a Nui, there is a Nui app that you use uh, to get an account with Nui, but in Google Home, it's the Nui Home skill that you need to add. The thing that I found was when I added the Nui Home skill, the password and the account that I had set up in the Nui app did not work. This led me down to a rabbit hole on the internet to try to figure out why the heck I can't connect the account. Uh, it seemed like uh, you had to create an account in the Nui Home app, but the Nui Home app in Google Play Store doesn't exist. So I started getting really frustrated. I reached out to their support and they were adamant that it is the Nui app that you use and you use that account to log into the Nui Home skill. Well, that just wasn't working for me. Uh, after messing around with it for a few days, I finally decided, you know what, even though I can log in and out of my Nui account, I know that my password is correct. I'm going to just change my password and see if that works. And lo and behold, that fixed my problem. I was now able to log into the Nui Home skill and <laughs> literally nobody on the internet had an answer to how to fix this. I just tried that on a whim. So I hope this video helps someone out in connecting their, their Nui smart bulbs if they're having any issues uh, logging in to the Nui Home skill in Google Home. So in order to connect to the Google Home Mini, you need to click on Setup Device. From there, you're gonna click on the bottom where you see that it says have something already set up. From there, you're gonna search for the Nui Home skill. And here you have to enter in your email and password that you set up on the original Nui app. Then you just click on the authorize button. And then once it's done signing in and you go back to the Google Home main page, you'll find that your lights will be set up in a cluster and you can rename it to whatever you want. I renamed mine to basement lights. All right guys, so I just wanted to also show you how some of the things that you can do here with changing colors. So there's things that you can do in the app. So there's 
some very quick things that you can do here, like turn the brightness up and down. You can change the blue versus yellow. Then up the top here you have a couple different, well, three different color schemes. Um, but the thing that I really like actually is the themes. You can go in here and choose different themes like focused. You can go natural, active, romantic, and those change colors that way. But the interesting thing here is if you look at the bottom, there's actually a plus theme. Uh, and this is where you can create your own theme. You can choose kind of a color scheme that you want to start with or whatever. And then you can name your theme, whatever you want. Cool theme, bro. And you'll notice cool theme bro is here now and you can select it so you can make your own themes. So there's not a lot of color options in the app, but you, if you go to your connected Google Home, there's a, if you click on the color button over here, there's a lot more color options and you'll see kind of as I click through them, the, uh, the colors of the lights will change. But also when you're connected to Google Home, you can just tell Google to change the color to something else. So if you were to go so if you were to say, okay Google, change basement lights to yellow. Alright, changing four lights to yellow. Okay Google, change basement ba <laughs> Okay Google, change basement lights to red. Got it. Changing four lights to red. Okay Google, change basement lights green. Changing four lights to green. Uh, another cool thing that you can do in the app is you can set schedules for each individual light for when you want them to turn off or on. For me, this is great because I work from home, so I just set all the lights to turn on in the morning and turn off uh, when it's closer to the end of my shift. And you just do that by clicking on the individual bulb, then you click on schedule, and then from here you can set the time. Now just remember you have to set the time for both off and on. Uh, and this is in military time. So you can say you want your lights to turn on at 6.45. We'll select that, click the check mark. You go back in again. When do you want them to turn off? Let's say you want them to turn off at 5.30 p.m., which is 17.30 p.m. This is perfect for me because I work from home. I work in the basement, so my lights automatically turn on in the morning around the time that I start, and it, the lights turn off a little bit after I am done work. Overall, I'm very happy with uh, with these lights. I, I was quite disappointed in the beginning there that I was not able to set it up with Google Home. The whole point for me is to be able to uh, ask Google to turn the lights off and on for me, uh, set it to you know 5%, 10%, 30%, whatever I feel like brightness, uh, so I don't have to keep going into the app to change these things. So I'm really glad that I was able to figure out, I probably would have given this like a three out of five star rating, uh, or even a two out of five star rating if I wasn't able to figure that out. Uh, it just really sucks that I had that problem. And I hope I'm able to help someone out through this video in case they're having problems connecting it to their Google Home. Definitely ask me in the comments um, if you have any other questions about this device. I am kind of new to this whole process of just reviewing things that I buy. So if there's something that you like, wish that I would have added into a video like this to describe a little bit more some of the things that you can do with these smart devices, please put them in the comments below. That's how I get better. Uh, in terms of price, this is on Amazon. It was on sale at the time when I bought it. It seemed like regular price was $79.99, but it was on sale for $59.99. Uh, prices on Amazon change all the time, as you guys know, so I can't really give you uh, a price, but I, I can give you a price range for four, for four bulbs, somewhere between 60 and $80, which is honestly a steal of a deal. I'll have the link in the description for you guys in case you wanna purchase this off Amazon. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.